So for this next nail, I have used Dusky Pink from Gel Perfection as my base. And I'm just going to create a swirl effect, well, a, a wiggly line with my white, making some areas thicker than others and then just neatening it up when I'm happy with how I've done it. This one's like super, super simple. Um, this is like the only part where you're actually going to be like hand painting. So perfect for people that are not keen on hand painting or just don't have the time for it or blah, 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 whatever reason, don't enjoy it. Um, because this is the only part that you need to do it and obviously it doesn't have to be perfect because it's literally like it's a wiggly line <laughs> so it's it doesn't need to be perfect I'm just getting it how I want it and the thickness And then once I've done that, I can then do the next step. Again, like the point of these videos that I'm going to be doing, like these spring ones, I'll also do something similar for summer as well. The point of them is that everything is nice and easy and quick. Um, because even those of you that can do advanced nail art, you might not want to, you might not have the time to, blah, blah, like any reason. And then once I've done that one, I'm then going to create a line next to it as well. Which I've literally just this minute decided to do. So just remember with lines, like with line work, the more pressure that you put on your brush, the thicker will, the line will be. So when I said that, like I pressed down on my brush... And obviously it created that thicker area. So sometimes you don't have to like keep messing about and like trying to get your line thicker by literally just painting like thin a lot basically. You can just put more pressure on your brush and it will create a thicker line. I am really really bad at talking and painting at the same time but I'm determined to get better at it and the only way to do that is to do it. Um. Also, make sure that when you're doing any sort of line work, especially straight lines, but any sort of nail art, that your brush is saturated in the colour, like all the way up the bristles. So I always get my colour like this. I get my brush and I twizzle it round in the polish and then pull through. And it literally coats every single bit of it. And then once I've done that, I'm then just going to get a dotting tool. I'm going to use a relatively small dot. And I'm just going to go alongside one side with my dotting tool. Just like that. And then I'm going to cure that for a full 60 seconds. And then once that's done, for this nail, I'm going to be making it matte. This is a no wipe matte top coat and it's got like the little black bits in. It is called Confetti BCT02 from Blue Sky. And I'm just going to use that to do a coat over the top of this design to make it matte and add those black particles in. Making sure it's nice and even and we haven't got like loads of black bits in one place and then none elsewhere. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full 60 second cure. And that is how that one looks. Super, super easy, but also really effective. And I absolutely love this top coat. Um, It's just amazing. Obviously, it makes, gives any colour that speckled effect, which is perfect for spring, especially for like Easter, like uh, mini egg nails and stuff like that. So definitely worth investing in. Um, So now let's move on to the last nail. My base colour is Banana Milkshake. This is what it looks like and we're going to also be using some of California Sun which is a brighter orange. This is what it looks like. It's beautiful. So I'm going to pop some of that onto my palette. I've just got it absolutely everywhere by accident. I'll clean the bottle in a second. And then I've also got Lemonade which is a darker 
yellow but not like too dark so I'm going to pop some of that down as well I really need a small amount of that so I've not put a lot on there and then all we need for this design is a dotting tool different sized ones would be useful so I'm going to use this larger side of this dotting tool here and I'm going to go straight into my orangey colour and I'm just going to place on five dots to create a flower. I know I'm using a large dotting tool, but I'm not really using like all of it. I'm literally just using the very like tip of it. So once I've done that, I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 10 seconds because when I'm happy with it, I don't want it to be able to like merge into itself or anything like that. Um, Cause then it'll just become a big blob and obviously I don't want it to look like a blob, I want it to look like a flower. So I'm literally just popping it in for 10 seconds to keep it where it is. And then that'll stay there then while I do the rest of the nail. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. Just create that flower. I'm doing five dots. like that again i'm just going to flash cure for 10 seconds and then i'm going to do the last flower down here like that i'm going to pop that one in for another 60 seconds now because it's all finished and then i'm going to use a smaller dotting tool and just pop a yellow dot right in the middle of those flowers And this sort of just like brings it together and just makes it look more like a flower. And then once I've done that, I'm then going to use my white again. I'm just using my small dotter again. And I'm just going to literally dot on some small white dots all over the outside of those flowers. So everywhere around the nail, but not too close to each other. I don't want too many. And then once I'm happy with how many and my placement, I will then pop it into the lamp. I'm just going to pop one more just over here. I'm happy with that. So that's gone into the lamp for a full 60 seconds. And then to finish this nail off, I am just going to top coat. Super, super easy way of doing flowers. Um, I don't think it really gets much easier than any sort of process with a dotting tool. I think dotting tools are so underrated in the industry. Um, they were a lot, like they were the first thing that a lot of people started out with, like me included, and there is so much you can do with a dotting tool. Um, I might do a video actually specifically on dotting tools and like all the nail designs you can do with just a dotting tool. But anyway, that is the third and final design of this video. Obviously I haven't put it in the lamp yet, but it's not going to look any different when I have. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.